Hello everyone, I'm Sean from SG District Homes and today I'm walking along this linear park located next to Pongo Vista which is a HDB cluster that TOP in 2012. This is just one LRT station away from Pongo MRT station where you have an area of dining options, eateries, supermarkets as well as Waterway Point Shopping Mall. And today, we are so privileged to be able to showcase a four-room corner unit which is renovated and located on a high floor. And this is what I call the corner most block at 601C Pongo Central. Let's go and check it out. Welcome to this high floor corner four-room unit which is renovated and it sits on a floor area of 94 square meter. It comprises of three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a full kitchen with a service yard as well as a utility room for your storage needs. And as we step in from the main entrance, you enter into this vast and wide space in the living hall. You can't help but to notice this main wall becomes the art gallery that is filled with the masterpieces drawn by the children and curated by the parents. And they are so proud of their artwork and it becomes a common topic conversations whenever a guest enter into this apartment. At this corner of the living hall where the TV console is, the owner has customized it in such a way that it doubles up as a shelf for your collectibles and your display items. And you can put photographs and some of the ornaments. And at the same time, you have a shelf and ample space for your sound bars and your electronic items. Besides the three bedrooms which are fully air conditioned, the owner has added a ceiling fan in the living hall to ventilate the area. And you notice that the owner has not compromised the original ceiling height but they created the L box to contain the recessed lightings and the cove lightings on the peripherals so you can create different ambience whenever if you want to watch a movie. Right in between the main door entrance and the utility room is a recessed area which the owner has maximized it by adding the shoe cabinets as well as an area for you to put your keys and your letters conveniently on a daily basis. The particular facing of this living hall plus the other three bedrooms are facing towards south and you do not have to worry about any west sun issue. At the same time, because it's not directly facing to any main traffic junctions or roads, so you enjoy a good serene environment. Because of the high floor level and the location, you always enjoy this natural ventilation and the whole unit looks naturally bright than expected. Shall we check out the kitchen? Welcome to this kitchen space, which is also one of the main highlights of this apartment. It is naturally ventilated and bright because of the white panels of windows from across to the service yard as well as the window panel next to your kitchen countertop. It is uncommon to find such kitchen space where it is naturally lit and the owner has maximized the space by creating this what we call U-shaped kitchen countertop. And you can see it is decked with the granite top where it is built to last, it's not easily scratched, easy to maintain, and it doesn't discolor. At the same time, you have enough preparation space uh, for your food before the cooking, and you can transfer right to the kitchen cooker hob. At the same time, you notice that the fridge is uh, located in a strategic location where it's not obstructing the walkways, and it's uh, tucked neatly at the corner of the kitchen area. You can easily access from the main entrance, or if you need to uh, take some of the food or frozen items you can easily assess whether you are standing in front of the cooker hob cooking your meals or standing in front of the kitchen sink washing your dishes you always enjoy the unblocked written reviews because of the window panels and because of this facing towards the east where the service yard is you always have the morning sun which your laundry will be easily dried within a few hours and you have ample space for you to put in your front loading washing machine and if you do need a dryer, just in case for rainy days, you can easily stack on top of it. Well, let's check out the rest of the premises. Adjacent to the living room is your dining hall area where I personally like this space. This is the time where you enjoy your meals with your family and entertain your guests. And you have space that is wide enough to accommodate a four-seater dining set. Even a six-seater dining table will also comfortably fit into this space and you can see that the owner has also accentuated the space and enhanced it by adding the mounted mirrors on this side of the wall and you can notice that the owner has carefully selected some of the fresh flowers put into the vase 
and also the plants to decorate the tabletop as well as the side table where you can put in other collectibles as well as your uh, teacups and your teapots for your convenience as you serve onto the table. Shall we check out the rest of the three bedrooms? Come with me, let's check out the first common bedroom. You can see that it's spacious where you have your huge study desk as well as a customized platform bed frame where you have ample storage right below at the platform as well as shelving and a personal wardrobe at the back of the headboard. You can easily put in a super single size bed. The owner has also added double rails for your day curtains and your night blackout curtains and also added the safety grill for the assurance of your children's safety. Well, let's check out the next common bedroom. And right now we are in the second common bedroom, which is also known as the boys' room. And it is exactly the same mirror image as the first bedroom that we have seen. Here the owner has uh, done a built-in sliding door wardrobe that is up to the ceiling height, as well as a customized furniture for your super single bed frame and the storage cabinets right above. Due to the ceiling height, it is ample enough for you to even put in the luggages right at the top of this furniture. And over on this side of the wall, you have a huge study desk for your kid to revise their work. And it becomes a very cozy area for the children. Well, let's check out the master bedroom. This forum layout resembles that of a condo layout where your common bathroom, also known as your guest bathroom, is located along the bedroom walkway. The owner has also added the cloth divider just to segregate this space and make it more private and tuck away from the communal areas. Let's take a look at this common bathroom. It is spacious and squarish in layout where you have your vanity counter, the water closet, as well as the curb that's done for you just to separate the wet shower area and the dry area. Now let's check out the master room. Last but not least, welcome to this huge and spacious master bedroom and the owner has created a floor to ceiling two sliding door wardrobe and yet you have enough space for your king size bed frame. In order to cater to their entertainment needs, the owner has put up this TV console area where you can house a 55 inch TV and display shelves for your family photographs, your collectibles and your ornaments. And what I like about this layout is that you have what we call the L-shaped bay window area and here the owner has decked it up with the laminate and put in additional movable shelves for their storage needs. Or if not, you can convert this space to be your reading corner with your cushions. And here you can enjoy reading your favorite book and enjoy a sip of your coffee or tea whenever you like. For Pongo Vista HDB cluster, you notice that all the pipe work in the bathrooms are neatly hidden in the concealed four ceilings. And here you have the opportunity to put in your cove lightings or down lights just to create an ambience and make it more like a hotel concept. And you notice in the master bathroom, the owner has specially customized their own vanity counter, added two additional storage for their toiletries, as well as the storage space right below the wash basin. And here you have your water closet together with your additional movable shelf for you to put your toiletries for easy access. And the owner has added the curb just to segregate the wet shower area and the dry powder area. Perhaps here you can add in a shower screen door or even a shower curtain just to prevent the water from splashing over into this dry area. Within the linear park located next to Pongo Vista, you have all the facilities such as the outdoor fitness corner, the pavilions, the children's playground, as well as a man-made swale that decorate and beautify the whole entire landscape. Block 601C Pongo Central is surrounded by plenty of amenities such as your supermarkets, your clinics, your eateries and coffee shops. Here you have at Block 301, just right across the street along Pongo Road, you have your Sengxiong Supermarket, eateries as well as bakeries and clinics. If you have an alternative for your grocery shopping, you can head down to NTUC Supermarket at Block 612 Pongo Drive. We are just only 3 minutes walking distance to Damai LRT station which is just only one stop away from Pongo MRT station. 601C location is the cornermost block in the entire HDB Pongo Vista cluster and is tucked away from all the main traffic roads and traffic junctions and is located next to the linear park. At the same time, you have all the park connectors linking to the nearest Pongo waterway park 
that stretches all throughout my waterway at Pongo. For primary schools, we have Pongo View Primary, Oasis Primary, Pongo Green Primary, Edgefield Primary, as well as Vela Primary School within one kilometer. There are other primary schools that is beyond the one kilometer radius, such as Pongo Cove Primary, Me Too School, Horizon Primary, Waterway Primary, and Greendale Primary School. Within the vicinity, you have various childcare centers located within the HDB clusters. At the same time, you have your large childcare center located at the junction between Pongo Place and Pongo Drive, as well as my first school along Pongo Road. For recreation activities with your families and your friends, you have more than what you can ask for. Here you have your newly opened one Pongo, which houses the community club, as well as the hawker center and regional library. And you also have your Safra Pongo Clubhouse, where you have an indoor water playground and various enrichment classes vendor for your children's needs and also plenty of eating options. Coming up next is your Pongo Regional Sports Centre where you have various sports centre, sports games as well as big swimming pools for the public. If you need to drive and head on to the expressway, you are just 2 minutes drive away from Tampanese Expressway via through Pongo Road. You can easily reach Changi Airport or Changi Juwo within 15 minutes drive via through TPE if you need to head on to the northern part of Singapore, you can head on to TPE and SLE. Or if not, there is a shortcut via through Selita North Link and on to Yishun Avenue 1. If you need to head on to the city centre, you can drive via through Tampines Expressway and through CTE and it roughly takes about 25 to 30 minutes to reach the city centre. Within Pongo Town, you have various major transformations that is already happening and taking place. Besides the new Pongo Coast MRT station, you have the up and coming Pongo Digital District and the various infrastructures of all the park connectors that link all the way to the Pongo settlements, the Pongo Point Observation Deck, as well as the Pongo Promenade Nature Walk. In addition, there's the Singapore Institute of Technology campus that is under construction right next to Take Lee LRT station. If you are a couple or family looking for a four-room corner unit which is located on a high floor in Pongo Vista, within two minutes walking distance to Damai LRT station where you have your supermarkets or even surrounded by all the various amenities, or barely 10 minutes walking distance to Waterway Point Shopping Mall and Pongo MRT station, then you should be here viewing this place together with me. Please do not hesitate to call me at my mobile number to arrange for a viewing appointment. I'm Sean from SG District Homes. If you like videos like this, please remember to click like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to see you in my next exclusive listing. See you then.